time to put your lights up. Guys, what's up? Darth CJ117 here, bringing you another Forza Horizon 2 video. So today I'm going to be showing you the full Xbox 360 car list, as well as all the cars that are only in Xbox 360 and only in Xbox One. So first off here, I'm just going to show you the full car list. So if you don't want to see this and you just want to get into the cars which are only on the 360 or only on the Xbox One, skip to three minutes sweet. But anyway, this game, I'm really, really enjoying it. I already have it for Xbox One and I just hired it out for eight days for the 360 so I can play it while I'm waiting for my Advanced Warfare Xbox One coming out on the 2nd of November, of course, with Advanced Warfare. So videos to expect for Horizon 2, I'm going to do Tune Up Tuesdays, which will involve in secret paint jobs, custom cars, all that sort of stuff. And then I'm also going to do some like drift slash stunt montages. And then I might also do some other sort of like guides or like how to get stuff quickly and how to get money quickly, how to get skill points, experience, all that sort of stuff. But the main thing I think I'll just be doing is Tune Up Tuesdays. And I might like have to make it tune up Tuesdays and Thursdays if I manage to like get that many different cars or paint jobs and all that sort of stuff recorded. But there's quite a lot of stuff on the 360 that isn't um that will quite a lot. I think there's yeah, 17 cars on the 360 that are not on the Xbox One and 32 I'm pretty sure it is on the Xbox One that aren't on the 360. But there's a lot of stuff on the other stuff in the game on 360 that you sadly um, have on Xbox One, but you don't have it on 360. And it's like the graphics is way worse. The grass, it's just when you're in the big open fields, it's just plain and flat most of the time. Occasionally, you'll find some trees and bushes, but it's just really, really plain and boring. And on Xbox One, I know it'll be much, much better. And I can't wait until I get my Xbox One to play Horizon, like, oh god, I might even play Horizon 2 on my Xbox One before Advanced Warfare, because it's the game I've been looking forward to the most this year. And at the moment, I'm just going through the main campaign playthrough or whatever, um, I'm up to, I think, the second San Giovanni bit or something. I've already done the train, um, what's it called, showcase event. And I'm like nearly up to the last showcase event with the Aston Martin Vanquish. And of course I don't have the Vanquish in this video and a couple of other uh, barn finds as well. But they are in both games. So nearly at the end of the list here and then we'll be going over all of the cars that are only in the 360 and only in the Xbox One. And some of the ones only in the 360, I'm really sad that they're not in the Xbox One. But they could be added at some point, who knows. So, now, first up here, we're going to have all of the Xbox 360 only cars. So first, you have the 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona Hemi. This is a really, really cool car. Then we have the 1986 Honda Civic SI. Then we have the 1988 BMW M5 which there's a car similar to it, but it's not the same. Then we have the 1990 Subaru Legacy RS. This is actually a really cool car. Then we have the 1990 Vaxhall Lotus Carlton. Really odd. I'm so sad it's not on the Xbox One. Then we have the 1991 Honda C CRX Serb. And the 1993 Jag XJ220. That is an amazing car. Then the 2002 Lotus E-Spirit e V8. Then the 2008 Ferrari California. There's no Californias in the Xbox One. Real sad. And then, of course, the Ford 2009 Ford Fiesta ZTEC S. Then the 2010 Mazda Mazka Speed Free or something like that. Then the 2011 Acura Integra Type R. And then the 2011 Lotus Evora S. Great car once again. Then the 2013 Audi RS4 Avant, which is really, really nice. Then the 2013 BMW M6. And then the Bugatti EB110 SS. I'm so sad that's not in Xbox One version because it's a great car. Then we have the Ferrari 575M Morello 2002. Now for the Xbox One exclusive cars, first we have the 1949 Mercury Coupe. 
great car. And then we have the 1968 Lancia Fulvia Coupe Rally 1.6 HF. And then we have the 1974 Toyota Celia GT. Then we have the 1979 Chevrolet Camro Z28. That is a really, really good car. Then we have the 1986 Alfa Romeo Spider Quattrofligo Verdi. Then the 1993 Renault Clio Williams. And then we have a 1994 Ferrari F355 Berlinetta. That is a really, really nice car. And then we have the 1994 Nissan Fairlady V version S Twin something. Then we have the 1996 Land Rover Defender 90. A great, great car once again. 2003 Ford Focus RS. I'm not very fond of that. And then we have the 2008 Honda S2000 CR. And then a 2012 Mercedes Benz A45 AMG. And then the 2012 Mini John Cooper Works GP. And then we have the Aerial Adam 500 V8. A great, great car. Can't wait to try that out on the Xbox One. Then we have the 2013 Audi S4. Then we have the 2013 Bentley Continental GT Speed. Then we have the KTM Expo. Uh, really can't wait to try that out. Then we have the 2013 Lamborghini Urus. I really want to try this out on the Xbox One as well. It looks great. Then we have the 2013 Mazda MX-5. The 2013 Mercedes-Benz E63 AMG. The 2013 Ram Runner. I can't wait to try that out as well. And then we have the 2013 Toyota GT36, which is a really, really nice Toyota car. Then we have the 2013 Ford Fiesta ST. And then the 2014 Local Motors Rally Fighter. I really, really want to try this out as well. And then we have the 2014 Tesla S Model S, which I really want to try out as well. There's a load of cars I want to do. The Abra Punto SS. I quite like that as well. I might try that out. And then the RD RS2 Avant 1995. And the Caterham 9RR500 Super Light. Another car I really want to try out. And then the Donkerbort. D8 GTO, I really want to try that out as well. Then we have the Ferrari 330 P4, another car I really, really want to try out. And then 2015 Ford Mustang GT, that looks pretty, pretty sick in my opinion. And then you have the Honda CRX Mugen, which is the last car. So thank you for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this. I took a lot of time into this. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next vid.